Now and um, on the show today, now let me welcome uh, Mr. Bundada Raghavendra Rao, who is the Chairman and Managing Director of Bodan Bundada Group, joining us on the show. A very good morning and thank you so much for your time. And firstly, let's talk about uh, the NLC India 810 megawatt of project in Rajasthan. It's one of your largest single site EPC orders to date. If you can tell us more about the scope of this particular project. Yes, uh, this is uh, Naivali Lignite Corporation has floated a tender a uh, few months back and we have participated and we got this um, project in uh, reverse action uh, process and uh, two days back actually they have given us the LOI. Uh, this is 810 megawatt of AC and which we have to execute in next uh, 15 months and thereafter actually we have to maintain this plant by another three years. Operation and maintenance contract is also inclusive of uh, this contract. And this is to be uh, done in solar uh, power park, solar power park of RUVNL at Bikaner in Rajasthan, uh, Rajasthan state. Uh, this is uh, the part of uh, NLC uh, net zero target in of their uh, solar uh, power generation. And uh, as you rightly said, this is one of our largest project which we have bagged recently. Okay, and uh, Mr. Bondada also help us understand that given the 15-month timeline, how does the margin profile of this large-scale Rajasthan project compare to your earlier smaller-scale Maharashtra commissions? Yeah, this uh, uh, when we have quoted this, uh, is a good margin was there, but because of reverse action, actually, we, could, uh, we have to reduce something, but uh, as of now, is a final order. Uh, we are seeing uh, anything uh, between uh, 12 to 13 percent EBITDA levels, but uh, uh, based on uh, our uh, designs optimization, I think we are uh, uh, expecting uh, this EBITDA margins will go up by another one, one and a half percent. All right, uh, but along with that, uh, the last we spoke, uh, you mentioned that uh, the work on the 610 megawatt of Adani um, Kavra project was slated to start in November 2025. Has that begun already and what is the expected revenue billing from this particular project for Q4 of FY26? Yeah, this 650 megawatt uh, is of around 1050 crores order value and uh, we have the time uh, timeline till uh, October 2026. We already started in November month and uh, um, uh, now a uh, lot of uh, designing work and uh, other uh, pre-ops work is going on at site and maybe in the last quarter of this financial year maybe we will uh, report maybe 150 to 200 crores because uh, initially is a preliminary job maybe the first quarter of next year onwards actually we are going to supply the equipment and then uh, things are going to move in, uh, in uh, bulk. Okay, and uh, talking a little bit more about the outlook, to reach that $1 billion by 2030 mark from your current levels, you will need a sustenance of uh, CAGR of nearly 50 to 60%. Now, with that in mind, with the second half expected to contribute 60% of this year's revenue, do you have the working capital limits in place to support uh, such an ambitious ramp up in FI27? Yeah, uh, till this FI 2026, actually, we already set there's no problem in actually already works are in place and then we are about to, uh, we are about to uh, achieve that whatever the target we set for FI 26. Even FI 2027 is also fund limits we have set. Maybe some uh, portion of non-fund limits are required, which our, pay, our finance team is in discussion with banks. That's not a problem. Till 2027, uh, our working capital limits are perfectly uh, set. And also we have, uh, as you know, that actually we have a huge order book that actually as of now is a 7,000 crores order book is there by we, uh, this order book is going to increase, uh, uh, expected to increase by uh, 8,500 to 9,000 crore by this uh, year end, financial year end. Out of which actually around 50 to 55 percent or 60 percent actually, which we have to deliver as per the project timelines. So for that actually we have set the complete working capital. And uh, uh, as you asked that actually 2030, uh, my 1 billion dollar vision is uh, still intact. Today is uh, perfectly intact and uh, uh, it is supported by 25 gigawatt of uh, renewable energy, uh, which we have targeted to complete 
in all uh, in all spectrums like epc ipp bes all put together actually we are going to do 25 gigawatt which is almost uh, 5% of the total indian renewable energy emission target so numbers are intact as of now and which we are going to achieve there's no, no we are not seeing any uh, issue at this point of time all right, but um, you had earlier mentioned uh, that you have a 200 to 400 uh, megawatt of pipeline for battery energy storage system. What is the current status on the order book and the execution progress in the uh, BESS uh, segment and the railway segment as well? Yeah, uh, this is uh, this order is for 200 megawatt by 400 megawatt hour, which we got from TNGECL in Tamil Nadu in uh, two substations. Uh, we have signed the Best Buy agreement way back, uh, five months back, and now financial closure is uh, is going to complete in next one week to 10 days time. And it is intact, actually, which we are going to complete this project by December 2026. We are very much comfortable and we're confident of completing this project. It is on. This project is uh, on now. And coming back to the railway, uh, that is 228 crores in South Central Railway. Project is on. I think almost we have completed around 25 to 26 percent of the project. Uh, for this also, we have the timelines till uh, uh, end of uh, next financial year. Uh, that is also in uh, which we are going to complete uh, on time or before time. Okay, so that sounds good as well. But uh, lastly, help us understand. Uh, your order book is now ballooning towards the 3 gigawatt mark. Tell us exactly where it stands right now. Also, with your cumulative commissions crossing 1 gigawatt recently, you are now tasked with executing the 2 gigawatt plus in the next 15 to 18 months. How is the scale-up looking? Is it going to be overlapping with any existing projects? No, because actually my each project is a different actually. Each project is, is uh, behave as a one company here uh, because we set up uh, for each project one project director and he has to he has to get his own resources. Uh, so uh, I am not seeing that uh, any overlaps unless there's actually uh, any external factors are influencing delays. Otherwise, internally, we are completely equipped to uh, take up each project parallelly and execute uh, the uh, project uh, parallelly. So, uh, recently, we have commissioned uh, cumulatively 1 gigawatt and uh, next, uh, this month, in, ne in next one month, actually, we are going to commission almost around 200 megawatt which is coming from this uh, Singreni calories of 67.5 megawatt and uh, um, some portion of Mahajanpu and even 142 megawatt of uh, Paradigm IT project in Maharashtra also, which we are going to commission next one month. So in one month, actually, we are going to add 200 megawatt to our one gigawatt uh, already commissioned. And by December, I think we will be ending maybe around uh, 1400 megawatt of cumulatively we are going to commission. And uh, every month we are ramping up, we are increasing our capacities. I am not seeing any problem in uh, in completing our projects on time, even next 15 to 18, 18 months, even uh, 24 months of time. Okay, Mr. Rao, that sounds good. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. On that note, we'll let you go. Spears, that was the management of one.